I hiked about four miles up the Lassen Trail. Kind of making my way back down. Taking my time. Passed by a lot of little runoffs. Snow runoff, snow melts, springs. All kinds of fun stuff to look at. Take my time going back, checking them all out. Did find a couple of nice camping spots, so. This will be camping spots for my uh, truck and camper show. So a little area to back into and kick back a couple days. much beauty through here. It's my favorite time of year. Well, I can't see that. This in like fall. Fall after the bugs are gone. Snow runoff, anyway. Snow melt. Whoa. Dropped it. So, I think it's time to go off roading. <laughs> Bushwhacking. get on the top of that. This little creek is so cool. It snakes back and forth so many times. It's in this little flat area too. I want to go up there though. Check it out. Maybe that's just how I am. That's really beautiful up in there. What? zigzagging this one it's a steep one that's all right I have some good views up here it was fun walking the logging road but So this is really cool. In between two deep ravines, walking on the spine, this is a saddle right here, the low point. Oh, what's cool about it is it's flat as a pancake. I really need to mark this area. Oh man. Love it. There's still snow stuck up there. Man, oh man. Wow. I 
Look at that. I wonder if there's water down in there. I think that's a box canyon because this is kind of like a horseshoe. This spine I'm on. Geez, I put my four man tent right here. This is an area I need to just sit and relax and enjoy the view. So I'm down at the very bottom of that box canyon. It's actually, there's like three of these. And even though this is a dry creek, I think I found a seat. So now I'm thinking, should I wait, get water downstream where it's flowing a little bit? Or should I get it while the getting is good? Because according to the GPS, this is looks like it's dry. It's just a runoff. I think I got about 20 ounces. I think I'm going to hold off. This just dead ends right over there. There's a seep here. There's a big cave up there in those rocks, but I'm not gonna climb up there by myself at least. Okay, I'm gonna follow this down. It's gotta be interesting. Hopefully it'll be fun. So I did come across to a little water source. Running pretty good. It's coming off that mountain with all the snow, so shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna filter it anyway, so. So this is my second box canyon. These must really have a lot of water rolling off of them during the first part of the melt because I mean, there's still snow up on the top and there's no water here. but. This is such a deep ravine. Man, them little chipmunks are everywhere. They're little guys. I just like areas like this. I think because I know nobody's been down here for a long time. The harder it is to get to the last you'll see people. Making my way around this ridge. I need to get up like on the other side of that big rock where the ridge line is. Cause skirting it like this, I keep hitting these little box canyons in there. You gotta go down deep and then back up steep. So, let's see what happens. Whew. So, getting closer. I told myself I wouldn't do this dangerous crap one by myself, but curiosity. I'm just gonna 
Try and skirt it right around here and go right behind that big rock right there. This rock looks like that poop emoji. <laughs> that one's Bart Simpson's head. Anyway, I come from way down there. It doesn't look like much on here, but it's steep. The best part about coming up something like that is every place I put my foot, every place I put my hiking poles for traction, I think about and I feel every single step. As I'm lifting my other foot, I make sure the foot that's planted isn't starting to slip. I, you just think about every single movement. And it just connects you. This is what's around me. There it is. The back of Bart Simpson's head, and the back of his little sister Maggie's head, and then the poop emoji. And we're almost on top, finally. Yay. Okay. I'm gonna go over this slippery rock. Okay, my third box canyon, Dry Creek. Glad I uh, mapped this out. This was a great hike. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Took the logging road. Um, what was it? It ended up being almost six miles. Then I climbed the highest ridge and I've been following the ridge line up and down all the way back. I love it. Then I'll find these box canyons with these dry creeks and then I'll just follow the dry creek down. Right now I'm working on my fourth canteen, 40 ounce canteen of water. And I got a quarter of it left. I got about 10 ounces, 12 ounces left. So looking for some more water again. Oh, it smells so good down in here. All right. Nice little fishing spot. Whoa, that was a big one. There's some nice sized trout in here for how narrow this creek is. That's just crystal clear. Unbelievable. This is a nice little spot. Maybe a blanket right there in that green grass. Looks like nice sand.
There's a really deep spot right there. Whoa, I hope I caught those guys on camera. <laughs> they all went under this thing. There's a whole group of them. I wonder if this splits off and there's like a couple more of the fingers of this creek over there. I'll have to check it out. I think this little creek splits in a bunch of different little fingers and then comes back together when it goes under the highway. There's still about a mile, eh, maybe not even a mile from the highway. Okay, so it kind of does come back together right through here. out like into a marshy. Oh, this is pretty deep right here. Oh there's little guys in there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. About as big as my middle finger. Four in, three to four inches, I guess. Maybe three. Grow, little guys, grow. What oh. mountain? Okay, I think that's it for this video. Six hour hiking trip, and I think it was a little over eight miles. I'm slow, but I have fun.